you know, Charlotte's a lot different team than when we played them last time. Um, you know, uh, Martin being back really adds an element to their team that they did not have, and they're gonna they're gonna be very difficult to play from here going forward. And uh, very tough game. Um, you know, plenty of stretches where we didn't do great things, but we hung in. And you know, Miles Turner down the stretch was tremendous. Um, shot making and ones made three in the corner, block shot to seal the game. Um, you know, big t big time stuff. And so uh, happy for him. And uh, you know, 41 games doesn't feel like 41 games, but it is. And you know, the next 41 will go by pretty fast too. You guys were down three, I think, with 112 to go, and end up winning pretty handily with great play down the stretch. What stood out to you about the final minute or so you guys played in this game? We're getting a lot of clutch experience, you know, over the last month and probably even longer period than that. So we're getting a lot of experience in clutch games, and we're learning about the things that you need to do. We don't mean to interrupt you back there. Hello? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we're getting a lot of experience in clutch games. We're learning some things. We're not perfect, but we're we're gradually getting better. And we've got a great crowd that has helped us get over the hump in a lot of these games. And uh, so, you know, there's no panic in this team. They're they're a group of believers, and. You know, with us, it's all about being able to get some stops. Because if we do that, it, it, you know, we get momentum going the other way, we can score. Miles just talked about trust being a big factor, but last year you guys struggled a little bit more in close games, and this year's team has been much better. What do you see as the biggest difference from year to year that's propelled you in these moments that you're getting so much of? Uh, I mean, I mean, I've kind of wiped last year out of my memory. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the point of even going there? Um, this team is is totally different. It's got a totally different spirit and a totally different um, love for each other and a totally different commitment to each other. So, um, but the tough games is where is where you grow. You know, this was a tough game. Um, so one of those bend but don't break games and Charlotte has got some great offensive players you know Rozier is a great offensive player Ball's a great offensive player PJ Washington was great tonight Plumlee is a is a legitimate playmaking center that you know now is consistently making free throws so um, you know they, they throw they throw a lot of stuff at you and they're gonna they're gonna keep getting better you talked about him a little already, but I felt like every time Miles would check in tonight you guys would go on a little run what stood out to you in the total package of the way he played today you know, there's, there's some guys that step on the floor and bring a presence, an energy, and a confidence to the game. Uh, you know, I coached Jermaine O'Neal here for, a, for a, a stretch of four years, and Jermaine had that. And it, it was something that kind of quietly lift, uh, was uplifting to his teammates. And so... Um, you know, Miles is, you know, he's in his prime. I mean, he's playing the best he's ever played. Um, he's a bona fide, certified leader in our locker room. Um, he does it the right way. He does it with actions and not words. And and yet when he talks, people listen. So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just real happy for him. You know, he's a great guy. Um, and... Uh, and down the stretch, I mean, he was tremendous. I can't say it enough. I guess to keep going on, Miles, I mean, you, you talked a little bit, I think it was yesterday, on, on how important he is to making the small lineup work. But I mean, I guess to delve further into that, like, what, what is it that he does that allows just sort of all those, the rest of those pieces to fit? And as, as somebody who's kind of behind all those guys, there is a rim protector. Well, I, I know you weren't in Philly, but I, I'm assuming you watched the game on TV. 
Well, he blocked five shots in that game, you know. Um, I think he blocked four tonight, you know, including the, let me see here. Yeah, four tonight, including the one that sealed the game. Um, he erases mistakes, but, but he also is the ultimate traffic cop, you know. He, 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 he runs the show defensively. And, you know, we don't, we don't have a team of perfect defenders. We're, we're a team of system defenders. And so, you know, a guy like Miles is very important. Speaking of guys, system defenders, Buddy Hill comes up with a huge block that kind of starts that sequence. Uh, just how important was that play he made on LaMelo also to get him fouled out uh, to kind of get you guys rolling on that stretch? Yeah, I mean, Buddy makes plays. He, he makes a lot of plays in an NBA game. Um, you know, he's known for shooting, but he's underrated in, in other areas. And he has, he has really good basketball instincts. So... Um, that was a big play, but it was it was not a shock. You know, we've seen him do do those kinds of things before. So, um, you know, th this stretch is like all these games are close. All these games teeter teeter on one or two plays here and there, and to get over the hump in games like this, it's you know, you got to be really together and you got to have a great crowd. And so that's you know that's that's what we're that's what we're living on right now. What more do you know about TJ at this point? He's got his shoulder, um, shoulder injury. Um, other than that, uh, he was unable to return, obviously. And uh, he'll get checked out tomorrow. We'll know more tomorrow. And so, you know, we may have, we may have an update for you on Tuesday. Um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Thanks.